Hey guys, Mike Sorg with WrestlingMayhemShow.com, at Sorgatron on the Twitter, at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, and I'm here talking with you about Taz. That's right, the human suplex machine, is that what we used to call him back in time? Now he's the human commentating machine. Let the pigeons fly. Uh, but his departure from TNA Impact Wrestling has been confirmed according to BetweenTheRopes.com today. Uh, he's had a few comments online, uh, some other people as well. John Gabaruk, which, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's big from from the Tough Enough shows. Uh, after five plus years, Taz, TNA and Taz have mutually decided part ways a champ in the ring and on the mic. We wish him nothing but success. Uh, and Taz also said he'd like to thank TNA Wrestling for the opportunity to apply his craft the past several years of best wishes of them in the future. Um, now, this is where I'm going to upset some of you guys. I am a Taz supporter. Now, while I'm not a fan of his commentary in the last few years, I am a fan of Taz in general. Um, I think uh, I've always liked, you know, of course, ECW days, even like, a little bit of what he did in WWE, that he got to WWE, good for him for being, you know, really a little guy, you know. Um, I think he's a really good influence on wrestling in general. Now, uh, after all these years with TNA, and there's a lot of shifts and everything going on with them, with their move to Destination America, there's a few things that uh, obviously have been pulled back and, and whatnot. So I think um, you're going to see these shifts, and I don't think, and this is where everybody's going to jump on Impact Wrestling. They're dying! They're dying! Taz is gone! What's left? Ah! Um, which I went, wow, that was a really weird voice. Um, I think that was, that was the henchman from from. Venture Brothers, if I'm not mistaken. I have to listen back to that. Um, but anyways, uh, uh, t t Taz. Damn, where was I going with that? <laughs> Forget it around. Uh, but no, Taz, uh, well, you know, great on him. I, I think anybody like that that, you know, finds an end to their career and trans 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 transitions in and has uh, a success for as many years as he did and and, and it, whatever you think of his commentary that he's been around for that many years and somebody up there thinks he's good, you know, good for him, you know. I, I say the same thing as JBL Booker T., you know, these days, uh, 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 SJK, Corey Graves, you know, making that trans transition as well uh, with his uh, unfortunately uh, stunning career uh, due to concussion issues. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, there are opportunities in wrestling. I talked last week about uh, Cole Cabana's discussion about being creative outside of wrestling. This is them being a part of wrestling without being in the ring. And I think uh, that's a great contribution for them uh, to be able to do that and be be around, hopefully, to help out some of the newbies, you know, and and and, and do that. Now, Taz has been doing this radio and uh, podcasting thing, so maybe that's his direction. Maybe, uh, you know, for, for a lot of these um, uh, guys, you know, finding that opportunity to not have to travel and, uh, and do it from, you know, his home in Brooklyn or wherever he is these days. Uh, I think anybody would take that opportunity uh, whenever given the chance. And uh, good for him for figuring that out. And his fans are going to find him. And he's going to maybe create new fans through his endeavors over there. This is a guy that's made a career over the past 10 years of talking on the microphone. And now he gets to talk on the microphone for not a wrestling company and, and find his own way. I think any of these guys that find this kind of opportunity. And he's riding the wrestler on a podcast bandwagon. Good for him. I'm riding the podcasting bandwagon myself uh, for 10 years. Let us know what you think about Taz and his movements here out of Impact and such. And uh, let us know at Mayhem Show on Twitter. And look up Wrestling Mayhem Show on Facebook, Google+, and uh, YouTube. If you're on a video here, please comment your thoughts on any of those devices on the interwebs. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.